Hello everyone, it's Mrs Twart here. I'm doing the assembly from school today. It's uh, my turn to come in on the rotor because our school is open for some key worker children and it feels very strange to be here today because it's really, really quiet. We've only got three children in the building compared to the ooh, nearly a thousand children that we'd normally have. So it does feel strange without you. I'm definitely missing you all, but I'm really, really pleased to hear about how hard you've been working at home and your teachers have been emailing me and phoning me and telling me about all the hard work you've been doing. So well done and you keep that up. And we don't know, it shouldn't be too long before at least some of us will be coming back to school after half term. We'll let you know a bit more of the details about that when we know. So let's see who we're celebrating today. My goodness, it's a long list. I have got from Reception Simmons, Fariha Rashid, who's been working very hard and practicing her writing. Well done, Fariha, that's amazing and so important to get those letters really, really correctly formed when you're just learning, starting to learn your writing. And then from Reception What, we've got Hadia and Elisa, whose phonics have been practicing their phonics sound and their reading. Lots of reading, really fantastic, well done, and practicing your phonics as well. That is super hard work from our Reception pupils. I'm going to give you a big clap. Just me today, I'm afraid. It was a bit lonely on my own. I'll make sure I bring Jude and Martha back in next week for the assembly. And in year one, I have got, oh, let's have a look, Marion Fatima from One Zephaniah, who's been working really hard at home, been very resilient and committed. That is brilliant. Because it is a bit difficult, isn't it, sometimes working from home and not coming into school, having your teachers to help you, but she hasn't given up even when it's been a bit tricky. And then we've got, oh my goodness me, Ayan Rahman and his twin sister Anaya Rahman from One Simmons and One Tolkien, who've been working really hard and even learning their three times table in year one. That's amazing. Well done. And mum says she'd be, mum's been really helpful with helping with their learning and it's lovely to see them all so enthusiastic and motivated, even when we've been at home for nearly seven weeks now. That is amazing. Well done to our superstars in year one. I'm super proud of you. Fantastic. Now let's see who we're celebrating in year two. Oh, we've got more twins, another set of twins. So we've got Ishmael and Ishak from Two Cadbury and Two Watt who've been writing book reviews and sent them into Miss Ward. Um, and they are really beautifully presented and excellent writing. Uh, and I think they weren't too keen to do their writing to start with, but now they've really got into it. So well done, that is super. And then Mabuba from Two Zephaniah sent in a video with a card that she'd made for everyone at school saying how much she's missing school and her friends. Well, we're missing you too, Mabuba. We're all missing each other and we hope it won't be too long before we see you again. But it's lovely to hear that you've made a beautiful card for everybody. Well done to our year two superstars. Let's have a look in year three. Who's been working super hard? So in three Cadbury, we've got Tala Shazad for aiming high. Ooh, reading lots of chapter books. Mum sent in pictures of the covers of all the books he's been reading. Oh, I'd like to see that. Love to see the more books we can read, the better. And if your parents are coming in to collect paper packs from school, we can give you a copy of some really great books to read at home. Or in fact, even if you're doing the online learning and you'd like a book, just let us know and we can get the book for the school that you can come and collect from us. So you could be reading all the time at home. In three years FSI, we've got Aisha Ali, who's keeping learning, working hard with her big sister on her reading as well. Well done. And being really kind. And I talked about being kind last week, didn't I? To Miss Hussain on the phone. Then in three Tolkien, we've got Amira Musa, who is continuing with her learning and practicing her regrouping in maths. Fantastic. I hope you've been using some of those super maths videos your teachers have been making for you at home as well. Must be a bit strange to have your teachers in your in your houses with you instead of in your classrooms. And then in three, what we've got Simran Pun, who's aiming high to improve her handwriting. This was one of her school targets, and we've seen some photos that her parents have sent in of her much improved handwriting. What a super thing to practice at home. We could all come back to school with beautiful handwriting. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Well done to our year three superstars. And in year five, now we're moving on to, I've got Hania Wahab from Five Simmons. Hania has been really kind to her family. Oh, super, she was listening in my assembly as well last week. Helping around the house, prepare food and cleaning. Wow, I am impressed. Uh, and helping with the cooking and with uh, helping with cooking can be really good practicing our math skills. We may be weighing out the ingredients or working out how many people to make the food for. That's fantastic. It sounds like you've been super helpful. I'd like you to come and help in my house. From Five Cadbury, we've got Zoya Mohammed who's been working really hard on Sat's Companion. Fantastic. And even though sometimes she finds the work a bit difficult, she's been practicing and becoming more confident and showing that resilience. 
that we really, really like to see, not giving up when things get difficult. Well done, Zoya, that's brilliant. And then we've got Nicholas from Five Zephaniah, who's completed all of his tasks on Sats Companion. Wow, he's been using Times Tables, Rockstars, Letter Join, Maths and Spelling Shed. And as well as this, he's been helping mum at home in the kitchen and he's been reading lots of books. Fantastic, Nicholas. I'm working hard every day. A huge thumbs up to Nicholas and his parents. He's an inspiration to the rest of us. Fantastic. Well done, Nicholas. What an absolute superstar. Very proud of you. And then last but not least in year five, Arian, Arian Ishmael from Five Tolkien, who has a fantastic attitude to home learning, demonstrating all of our Art Victoria values. He's aiming high and he's keep le keeping on learning even though he's at home. He's taking responsibility for his own learning. Fantastic. In year five, I'm impressed by completing his Sats Companion task, using the links on the website, trying new topics. What a long list here. And persevering and through the challenge to achieve 100% on quite a few of his Sats Companion tasks. <gasps> Ooh, to take a deep breath after all of those. Well done, Ariane, that's fantastic. A big round of applause for all of our year five superstars. And then moving on, last but not least, to our oldest children in year six. My goodness, I think this is the third week in a row that Sammy and Ayan have had another shout out. They must be doing so well. Well done, boys. Super, I'm really impressed. They've been doing a science project at home on lights. I look forward to hearing about that. And Mr. Yule said he had great fun making egg parachutes with them at school last week. And he said they were great. Capital letters. That's how fantastic they were. We've got Safia Ali in 6 Watt, who's been working really hard at home and making Miss Whistler super proud of her. Well done, Safia. We've got Saida Hussein from Six Simmons, who sends lovely daily messages to Mr. Yule, uh, asking how he is. That's nice, isn't it? And checking in about her work, which is lovely. We really enjoy keeping in contact. Fantastic. And let's see who's top of the Sats Companion leaderboard. Drum roll, Safi, you're still at the top. Well done, that's amazing. But Mr. Yule also wants to shout out lots of children who are trying to catch up and doing really, really well. Uh, lots and lots of work and on those Sats Companion leaderboards. Fantastic, I'm really proud of you. I know it's hard sometimes to keep motivated. We've been at home for quite a while now, but it's really important that you are working hard that you're using the resources either if you're collecting a paper pack from school or you're using the online resources on our website and using those links to make sure that you are accessing the learning and if you can send us in examples of your work on to primary home learning at artvictoria.org we love to see that we even show pictures of it in our staff briefings that we have so we have a meeting uh, all the, uh, the staff have their video cameras on and we all meet once a week to catch up with what's going on and we share pictures of all your fantastic work and they go into our online newsletter which everybody can see on the website as well so please do send us the work it really makes us smile every week when you do that at the end of the assembly i always like to just talk about something that might be happening at the moment or maybe how we're feeling and last week i talked about how important it was to be kind and this week I want to talk a little bit about how we might be, some of us might be feeling at the moment, and that's that we might be feeling a bit worried. And that's totally normal. Because being worried is just our body's way of telling us to be a little bit more careful and to protect ourselves. And that is the right thing to do at the moment. And I think most of us have been feeling a little bit worried at some point over the last seven weeks when we've been at home.